I hope we're live and I hope you can hear me. That's my hope for today. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that cover photo because today I'm going to try to figure out why that happened. I'm like 95% sure I know why I got that kind of reaction. Um, so we're going to play with that today and see if I can figure it out for real, for real. Yeah, I think. things first. I'm going to show you what yesterday's piece ended up looking like. P.S. Spoiler alert. Um, I love it. But I don't have my phone so I can't do any extra light. Well, maybe this will. Nope. Dang it. Oh, wait. Here we go. Ding, 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 ding. So the glitter did move out a little bit, which is just fine. It apparently did not bleed past the gold line, which I'm super pumped about. Hey guys. So, the real super awesome from this is in apparently the backside. What is this? Need some focus. All right, let me see if I can get some focus. It's not wanting to do the thing, huh? Anyways, no doubt you've seen um, what Jeff recently put on. I'm just going to autofocus this myself. Um, Facebook today, and it is this piece. It reminds me of those like photo editing apps that will like put some kind of funky texture on your photos. And so this texture is like all the way around on the back side. I'm pretty for sure that it is a reaction of the white base tint and the clear 
color obsession tints. So today we are going to um, reverse engineer, if you will, this look. Reminds me a lot of, that's probably my favorite part, like the Petri dish pieces with alcohol inks. But for me, those are so like hit or miss. Ugh. I could look at it forever. So today I'm going to try to figure out what I did and try to make it happen again. So also I am very torn about which way I would want to display this piece. Maybe I'm just going to have to like spin this bad boy, you know? I love it and I really when I did the um I tried the petri dish things and it never worked for me so I don't know but now it seems with my clear substrates some transparent colors and the base tint I can recreate that look I hope what's up you guys Hey Jen, I agree, it is almost like an anemone. So I'm going to be using Art Coat, which I just mixed up. Um, I don't know if the consistency of the resin has anything to do with it, but this has not been setting as long as um, that one did when I did it. So we are going to test it right now and I believe my theory is correct and so if this one comes out proper then we will know yes yes all right uh, for this test I'm going to be using one of our 15 inch clear canvases and if you guys have never used one of our clear canvases before it's going to come with this masking on both sides peel off one side to pour on it and then once it's set up, peel off the back side and there's no cleanup. It's um, like magic, except for not magic, it's real. It's really real. Need to throw away this trash, it's getting super full. Today Jeff is out at Makers making more geodes and more coasters and more stir sticks and everything. Poor thing. He just has to sit up there all day. Ow! I just hit myself. Ugh. Jennifer, that is a cool idea. Um, she said her husband does these frames where he puts maybe and maybe on top. Oh, a magnet on top so that it spins. We'll have to see that in action and see if I can't do that myself. Uh, Jen, absolutely I will. All right. So for this piece, I'm going to be using what I'm pretty sure is purple topaz from Color Obsession. I'm gonna use the white just like I did yesterday, the base tint and the Color Obsession combined. Um, don't think I'm gonna add the black base tint, but I'll probably end up adding some of this liquid gold. Who knows? We'll get wild and crazy. This piece is mainly for experimental purposes. Anyways, right? Right. Um, Denise Smith has gotten me some of those before, Holly. The coasters with the flush sides. 
What is in this? Maybe send her a DM to find out where she got hers. Um, Cause I'm not sure. But I know she knows. Why did I just mix up three? Do I need a third color? I'm not even sure what I have over there. I packed almost everything up. Um, yesterday. And sent it out to Vegas for our class. P.S. We have a class coming up at Vegas. If you didn't know, now you know. I don't want to hear any of this. Man, I wish I'd have known. Now you know. Now you know. Kim says Lowe's has those tiles. Um, you can clean the surface off, but it's really, nothing is on it. But if anything, I would just wipe it with an alcohol wipe. Um, and technically I should probably scuff it with a 400 grit sandpaper, but I shipped all of that out as well, so. But it'll be fine. Ooh, I really like this color. We're going to have to make a little bit more of that. Um, and then the base tint. Let me get it open. Ugh. Floor and decor apparently has those. Not this one. I'm almost nervous about this for some reason. Like I really want to figure out what happened. And I'm pretty sure I need to make it slightly off-centered, just slightly, to get it to work as well. Or I have to like manipulate it with some heat to get that um, like feathered, furry movement. Hey, Marine. Now the base tint. I didn't add that much yesterday, so I'm gonna stick with that again today. I need to not forget to pack those. In fact, I should probably just order more, have it sent to Vegas. Sorry, I'm like talking through my to-do list with y'all. Okay, so I have my purple topaz. It is a transparent tint. The color on the camera is fairly true. That one is as well. It's like a hot violet color and it is transparent. I have my base tint and I did mix up some glitter as well. Not sure what I'm going to do with it, if anything. So let's add some clear down. I'll uh, grease the pan style. Thanks mom. Still working on getting those shirts made. I'm, I'm like 98% sure that that reaction is a combination of the base tints from Stone Coat and um, a transparent anything. And since alcohol inks are not light fast, we are going to be using Color Obsession Tints. It may be a combination of Color Obsession Tints specifically and the base tint. 
So once I can replicate it the first time, then I can start actually narrowing down. Like I can take certain elements out and see what changes happen in the design. What up, GP? Jen or Lori is asking, do you know of any places where you can get good resin cheaper? Stone coat's really good, but the price is crazy expensive. So the thing about saving money on resin is that you kind of get what you pay for with resin. Um, the expensive thing about creating resin is the UV resistance, which makes the resin not yellow. And if you're using a whole bunch of dark colors, then you don't really need that so much. So um, Stone Coat actually has a really affordable resin called Craft Coat that um, is not that expensive at all. Uh, if you order from Stone Coat, use my code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all caps no punctuation to get a discount um, or you could use like a Promarine or Envirotex but keep in mind that Promarine, Envirotex and Craft Coat will all yellow over time if you have the light colors and apparently even the dark colors will fade or change over time with exposure to UV so just keep that in mind you can also like save your expensive resin for a clear coat and that's kind of like a sunblock for your artistic layer. As Haley, I used your stir sticks the other day and I was doing some resin for jewelry. OMG, I love those more than the wooden sticks. Thank you, I use these um, all the time. If you guys are interested in some of our, can't read it right now, but it says artist till death stir sticks. Um, they are um, durable and reusable, just use them, wipe them off, and ready to go for the next one without just one use wooden stir sticks, you know? Um, KS resin is supposed to be really good too. I'm going to be doing a review of that soon. I agree, Kim Adams. Uh, Stone Coat has awesome customer support. And it has no VOCs. Alright. I'm like... Almost nervous about this for some reason. Not really doing this as like um like for this side, I'm kind of more doing this for the flip side. <laughs> Catch you on the flip side. No. We will see, though, whether this works or not. I'm excited to find out if it works, whether it does or doesn't. Who's to say? Um, I guess I'm to say once it's done. I do got jokes. Badoomch. Thank you, GP. Ugh. Can't get them. Yeah, you're fine. I also don't know if it's a matter of how much of the color obsession that makes a difference. There's so many variables that I'm so interested in figuring out. It's super unfortunate that um, I have to wait till tomorrow to find out if it worked or not. I guess I could find out later tonight 
After like 10 hours, I should be able to take the backing off of this without any um, adverse reactions, I suppose. Okay, then I did a swipe. And, oh. I'm just picking up some of this purple that had fallen off. And I swiped it just as I usually would. I'm just going to tear the edge of that off and do another swipe. Um, this way? I think this is going to work though, y'all. I'm sorry this part isn't more beautiful, but it's not about the front. It's about the back. But maybe I can make the front more beautiful soon as well. So I haven't added any heat yet. I should have though to make this move more easily. We'll see though. All right, let's add some heat and see where we're at. Where is the torch? If my theory is correct, then these areas, like right here, are going to drop. I need to take autofocus off so you guys can see this.
Anyways, areas like this and like this will drop through and give that feathery look. Streaks of black glitter or veins would be amazing. So, I packed up all my glitter, unfortunately. Um, I do have gold. Let's add some gold in there and see if it drops through or does something. Sell sorceress. I accept. I humbly accept. It sounds better. All right, let me get a pipette real quick. Y'all, I'm finally getting my hair done today. Um, and not doing it by myself, which is awesome here lately that seems to be my jam and um, super pumped about it remember that um, fundraiser we did for our friend Cruz and Laura who unfortunately lost her life in Mexico after a botched surgery Cruz is who's going to be doing it and I'm excited my regular Jamie is very busy right now and also I couldn't make it out to Dallas so this gold is called liquid gold. It's basically spray paint, not in an aerosol, and you can get it on Amazon. Last time I checked, they were out. Um, Dick Blick, I believe, also carries it. Or maybe it was Jerry's Artorama. But I have it linked down in the description box below this video. I have it linked in the Amazon. And it is super fun to play with. Although it's really easy to accidentally do too much of it, which is probably what's going to happen here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do to my hair this time, but I do have to go to his salon. He unfortunately does not make house calls. But the salon is not far from here. It's downtown as well, so. I'm glad I set an alarm for it. I would have completely forgotten. It even looks nice over just the clear right there.
All right, I'm almost done with this, I swear. I almost feel like this is a little bit too distracting. I'm just using it straight out of the can, the gold up. Hey, Missy. It's good to see you. I'm sorry you're dealing with stuff. I wonder what would happen if I did like a dip swipe. Hmm. That's true. 007 is, in fact, the business. So right now I'm just trying to pick up some of the gold without too much of that oil base so that I can see what it does. wiped over this um something the base tent um i have not used the silver yet it was out of stock last time i tried to order it but i will be getting some and demoing it for you guys Looks like it's gonna do fun things over the base tent. How much do I have left? Not that much. Okay, so. What if we just did this? Y'all may be yelling at me through the screen, but that's okay. Because I'm gonna figure this out and it's gonna be amazing. Y'all just watch.
I'm going to incorporate it. It's not just going to be a blob of white in the middle, I promise. you guys are new to the channel I'm going to be teaching a class in Vegas November 2nd and 3rd we have some seats open and I'm going to be going over a lot of things G.O.D. I wish I had more purple. I'm just gonna dip some right out of that area. And transfer it to here. definitely one of my busier pieces but it was a test piece to see what's gonna happen sorry I just Ritter hoffed y'all oh um, I'm gonna be doing a class in Vegas and uh, it's gonna be the first class that we do with um, you have the choice of doing geodes instead of the rounds. And I think I'm gonna do a geode focus class here as well. That's for the second and third class of November. Looks like it wants to sell over the white. a busy pizza pie marble of purple but if I'm correct that it's the sinking of the white through the transparent and then manipulating it with a swipe then this is gonna be great um uh, yeah I can do one here Jeff and I are thinking about doing like around the 15th of December it's sticky. Um, doing one here if you guys would be interested or do you think that's like too close to Christmas? Tell me what you think. I'm going to go put this up in the dust free area. nerve-wracking to do a piece that's like you can't see what it looks like or where it's going it all has to do with how it sets up and there you if you can't see it you can't really control it you know so it's super nerve-wracking like if I can see the piece then I can make adjustments to what it looks like, but since it's on the back side that we're like really shooting for what it looks like, you, I mean, you know what I mean? You can't control what you can't see. So, I'm just, uh, what is it? Hope in a prayer? Wing in a prayer? Something? I don't know. Jeff, we had the Cowboys game, remember? Oh, 
Um, maybe we'll do it earlier in December. Um, Jeff is surprising me for my birthday and is taking me on an undisclosed birthday trip, which I'm super pumped about because I've always wanted to be surprised and take a vacation where I'm just told to show up and like what shoes to pack. You know what I mean? So I'm super excited about it. And usually I'm really bad about letting surprises be surprises and I always want to figure it out as quickly as possible. Um, this time I'm just letting it happen and I'm really pumped about it. Super um, proud of Jeff for the initiative that he's taken in this trip, even though I have no idea what it is. It's gonna be a blast. And of course we're gonna be sharing all of it with you guys, whatever it may be. You guys probably will know what it is before I will, to be quite honest. Because Jeff can't keep a secret. That is not a secret. Jen, I'm going to try that too. Um, if, if it turns out that these products are what causes it, at least, you know, so far, um, then I'm going to set up a camera underneath where I'm filming and take the back off and um, so I can see on the camera what it looks like underneath which is going to be ultra confusing because some of these cameras are like flip-flops or like it's all wonky anyways um but yes completely agree What's up, Joe? Congrats on your commish. Um, Scarlett Di uh, Diane K sent you a package to here, so next time you come over, don't let me forget that you have a gift from her. Reverse, mirrored, um, and also like this kind of flopped. It's gonna be crazy. Hey, sweet pea. Um, inverted. That's another word for that. Um, I'm gonna, I've been meaning to add the, um, the puppy cam onto this. Where am I? I need to add Ethel. See if the boys pop out. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and seeing what I'm up to today. I know that I will figure out what created, where are you? You're in here. Let me show you right here. What created this awesome possum pattern on the back of this geode, which is what we did today. Also, if you missed it, this is what the front looked like. I know it's kind of drearied out over there, but such is life. Um, Uh-oh. Incoming. There's already one of them. Um, Donna, I'm not sure if I got the video. Did you text me or did you email it or did you something else? Or did you, um, did you send it to me? I'm like a direct message. Anyways, um, thank you so, so much for tuning in, seeing what we're up to today. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to teach all of you guys 
for free as usual. Um, and oh, you text it. I'm sure I got it. I will double check shortly. This is one of those cameras that's like beep, 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 flip floppied. Um, if you could send it to me on Facebook Messenger because it's going to be a clearer video that way. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and seeing what I'm up to today. Be kind to one another because you never know uh, what someone may be going through. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye for the applause. Okay. okay.